everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer. Today we're gonna to be playing around with the new Ashantakai Fall Collection. I have the Black Jaguar, the Cougar, and all four of the lipsticks. So if you're interested in seeing that, just stay tuned. Hey everybody, so today we're gonna to play around with the new Ashantakai. I of course have the Cougar and the Black Jaguar, um, the uh, eyeshadow quads, and then I have all four of the lip cheeks. I will uh, swatch those for you as well. And we'll talk about the eyeshadows. At the moment, my face is still swollen. Um, you can see it here, mostly here. And then my nose, my nose is about twice its normal size. Um, for those of you who haven't followed my channel, I had a laser procedure done recently, two days ago. And um, what I get, to, I get different types of lasers done, and I'm gonna have things over on Instagram talking, showing you pictures each day. But um, it's a pulse dye laser, which is specifically for redness. It targets redness. So these aren't the lasers that are used really to, to get rid of sun damage or to build collagen and you know um, get rid of wrinkles. It's not, it's not the, it's not like the genius layer uh, laser, which I, I'll, I can talk about later, but. Um, and I might have that done in the future. Genius lasers are more, uh, they're RF, radio frequency and laser, and they sort of puncture your skin. Um, and it's a different kind of procedure and your face looks more like a Trisket <laughs> afterwards. And you do multiples of those and it really helps build collagen and gets rid of wrinkles. Well, not all wrinkles, but it, it definitely is a de-ager. This laser is specifically for redness and targets redness. Um, I have rosacea in my cheeks and around my nose. And so they did it all over my whole face, but again, you'll see, if you wanna check it out on Instagram, I'll have pictures. Um, my face is still a little pink and really very swollen. The first day afterwards, I looked, my skin looked like bubble wrap. You know what I mean? Like swollen, swollen bubbles. It was not pretty. Um, again, I'll have it all on Instagram. But that was just a long way of saying, and I'll have timestamps so you can fast forward through all of this if you don't wanna to listen to the explanation but my face does look a little funny, that's why. It's still swollen, it's gonna be swollen. For me, it usually takes about a week. My face is very sensitive, my skin is very sensitive. Um, so by next week, mid-September, when I, you see videos from me, the swelling should have gone down. So we'll see, we'll, <laughs> we'll, I'll document. Um, that's all to say, when you look at my face today, you're gonna be like, wow, she just looks like I almost look like my like I had dental work because this part of my mouth is just really swollen in my nose. Um, I do have on the new Westman Atelier uh, Vital Skincare, the, the complexion drops. I used this today for two reasons. One, I want to try it out. Ugh. Two, it's a clean skincare brand and I felt a little bit more comfortable about putting it on my skin 48 hours after laser. Um, and I also didn't want to put too much on my face, um, because I was concerned, um, you know, that I've had laser, so I didn't want to put really anything on other than this. Um, so I don't have like bronzer or blush or all that. So, you know, things are going to look, like I said, a little funny, but it is what it is. Um, I have this in the ATA 0.5. That's the shade that I ended up getting. I think it's the right shade for me. So. Again, the skincare drops I actually really like. I, I don't judge them just on how my face looks because I look a little weird. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. So we have the Black Jaguar and we have the Cougar. Um, you're gonna see a, a video go up, it's gonna be my arm. Um, and the closest to my hand is the swatches of the Cougar Eye Quartet. Then in the middle, it's the Black Jaguar Eye Quartet. And then at the top of my hand, furthest away from my wrist, is the giraffe. I threw the giraffe in there because I wanted you guys to see in comparison um, to these other quads. I think there's a lot of similarity between the three, actually. Um, the most different one, obviously, is the black jaguar. But you can even see in the black jaguar, the brown that's in the black jaguar is similar to the one in the giraffe. So I think these are a nice complement to one another. They're not, they're not all the same. Um, but I don't think, you know, one is like a totally different uh, color story. I would say that the Cougar has warm and cool tones in it um, and is definitely more, uh, quote, subdued than the, uh, the uh, Black Jaguar. But I think they both could do 
an intense look and they're both extremely pigmented. Um, so I'm gonna do a look with each one today because I felt like, you know, usually I get these things out a lot earlier, but like I said, my skin was in no condition to do a video. It, even now, it's not where it needs to be, but I was just like, you know, I gotta get it done now because I have to work during the week. Um, all right, so again, this is the Black Jaguar and this is the Cougar, and you saw the swatches of them. Um, I'll have a little clip over on Instagram and, and TikTok as well. Um, I will likely have a giveaway that's associated with this um, collection as well, but that's coming soon. Okay, and then with each of those, there were two lip cheeks. So lip cheeks, if you're not familiar with the Chantecaille lip cheeks, they're a glossy lip. Um, I really like the formula. Uh, it's not super long lasting. Um, okay, so the Black Jaguar collection it has the black and green, which I really, I love these cases, to be honest with you. I love the metallic. I just like, they're just, they're just beautifully done. Um, they're magnetic and they have the black and green and then the Cougar, Cougar has this really pretty, it's like a little bit deeper bronze and copper kind of thing. It's like a taupe, actually. It's not even copper, because copper has more red. But it's uh, it's really, they're very beautiful. And we'll do swatches of those um, towards the end. Let's just focus on the on the eyes today, um, on the eyes first. So I'm going to do Black Jaguar here and Cougar here. So you, like you said, you, so like I said, so you can see both. Um, I'm going to do my best to, there's so many different looks we could do with, with this, honestly. Like, it's amazing. With these types of shades, there's a, there's a ton of different ways that I could use them. Um, and you know, and I haven't watched other people's videos because I, I didn't want to do that. Um, I know people use the blue in the Black Jaguar because it's stunning. And plus, it's probably one of the reasons people were drawn to it is because of that beautiful blue. Um, so uh, I am going to use it, <laughs> of course. But, you know, I think there's there's really unique ways you could do this. So I'm gonna try to do like a quote traditional look over here and then with the Black Jaguar do something a little different um, or at least we'll try it that way. All right, so one of the shades in each of the quads is a matte. In the Cougar, it's like the taupey brown and in the Black Jaguar, it's a black. Um, so I'm gonna use that over here and I'm gonna use it first. It's a very, very deep brown, like very deep. Uh, it's cool toned, and you can see it almost looks gray when I put it on my eye. Look at that. See how deep it is? It's a really interesting um, shade. You can see how, how deep that is on me. Like, it's a, it's a really deep shade. I'm going to use a synthetic brush as well because I want you to see, uh, I want you to show you that it can go down with a synthetic brush or a uh, natural hair. This is a BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy brush. So whether you use a natural hair brush or a uh, synthetic brush, this is going to give you payoff. I will say the natural hair brush gives you more, but the synthetic brush will also, you know, pick up these, these shadows. Okay. All right. Now we're going to take the, um, the like goldish shades. Like a, it's very, very light. It's almost peach. Um, and we're gonna lightly put that in the brow area. It's very light. It's almost the shade of my skin tone, to be honest with you. You can see that in the swatches. And I'm putting it on very lightly. I'm not trying to pack it. I'm not trying to like make it look super bright. I could, not bright, but I mean, I could, you know, make it look deeper. I'm not trying to do that. All right, now we're gonna take the, um, this, uh, taupe shade truly taupe shade. Um, put that on the eyelid. This is more of a satin shade. I'm putting it all over the lid and putting it into the crease. And now we're going to take what is my favorite shade in, in this in this quad. Not a shock. It's like this gorgeous bronze. Um, and we're going to take that and we're just going to put it on the outer edge of the eye. Trying not to use too much of it because if it, it's going to take over the look, it's a really stunning shade, but it's um, it's pigmented and deep. So if you if you put this on your lid, like that's going to be the shade 
and that's pretty much going to be it. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's a beautiful shade, but I'm trying not to just, you know, I'm trying not to, for you guys, I'm trying to let you guys see all the shades. And so I'm trying to be careful how I use all four of them. That pop bronzy shade, it's really pretty guys. It's like my favorite. It's a beautiful look. I mean, it's similar to the giraffe, but the thing about this one versus the giraffe is the giraffe has one like a very sparkly shade, which is like that taupe shade. Um, as you saw on my arm, it's like a very, very almost glittery shade. Um, and it's got the white shade that does the same thing. So you get a much lighter look. You could actually take the white that's in the giraffe and add to this. I think it would actually, I think it would actually mix extremely well. But this by itself is a beautiful, I'd say it goes a little bit cooler on me, but the peach tone is, is pretty, is pretty cool, to be honest. I mean, pretty warm, but the rest of them are, I think, go pretty cool on me. But it's just a beautiful, neutral, glam look. So I love it. And the formula is excellent. It's very, very pigmented. All right, so for this eye, I'm gonna do something a little different. For this eye, I'm gonna take the black shade and I'm just gonna put it on the lid. Um, and I saw, um, cause she was on Instagram when I saw it. I saw Sherry Voyage do um, a look with the black and the, the bronzy shade that's in here. And it looked stunning on her. And I actually was thinking of doing that, but then I saw her do it and I was like, well, I don't wanna do the exact same thing. <laughs> So I'm not going to do the exact same thing, um, but I am going to take the um, black shade and put it down first. But what I am going to do is the black shade I'm going to put down with a um, synthetic brush. And what that means is it's not going to be as pigmented as if I had put it down with one of my Kalinske brushes um, because the Kalinske brush will pick up more pigment. So this will be not as deep as if I had done that. Um, and I purposely, I'm not doing that. If you want it to be super black and super pigmented, I have tried um, putting this black on with uh, the Hakahoto S23 brush. And yeah, it's, <laughs> it's much more pigmented. It's black. Um, and I would also suggest that you use an eye primer. I use the Gerard eye primer, um, the eye base, works really well. Um, so that you get a smooth, a smooth look. I am not doing that today because I'm just trying to show you how the eyeshadows look, um, regardless of whether or not you use primer and you know, no matter what kind of brush you use. Um, so I'm pouncing in the uh, shadow to kind of make sure that it sticks and then it stays and getting, and I'm building. Um, you can do the same. I just, I'm gonna wait a minute before I put the next um, shade on top so that it kinda, kinda has a moment to sit in my skin. And you can do this with any deep shade, it doesn't have to be black. You could take um, a deep brown or purple or green, it doesn't matter. As long as it's a deeper shade um, and matte and put it on your eye and then, um, put a lighter shade over it, something that has some sparkle to it and it will look stunning. Um, so I could take this and put the white over it and it would be, I think, really interesting. Um, what I'm gonna do is the blue so you guys can see it, but I'm also gonna put on a little bit of the brown so you see what that looks like. All right, so let's take the white shade and put a little bit in the um, inner corner. First, I'm gonna just smooth out this a little bit. And when you're, you're kind of trying to like, diffuse an eyeshadow just go lightly don't uh, don't go too harsh you don't have to put that much pressure on it um, okay so we're gonna take the white and this is similar to the shade that's in the giraffe as you saw on my my arm earlier and we'll take a little bit and just put it up here now we're not going to use a lot because it's a very sparkly shade but you can see it on the inside there it's a very, it's a very bright shade. Now, let's take the brown shade that's in here and I'm just patting it in and I'm moving it kind of into the white, blending a little. I'm just gonna sweep it over the black and now we're gonna take the blue and we're gonna put it on the outside edge. And I'm patting it in just to keep it bright. So now we've got 
the white into the brown with the blue on the out, outer corner and the black underneath. So you get a very intense look. Now I'm going to take that blue and I'm going to run it along the lower lash line. Much more dramatic look, obviously, than the cougar. Okay, let me put on a little bit of mascara. I won't put any liner on. Um, and then we'll take a look at the lip cheeks. All right, let's take a look at the lip cheeks. Now, I will say that the makeup looks a little dramatic with nothing else on my face. And because I have just the vital skincare drops, because they're, uh, it's a very, very light coverage, if any coverage at all. Like, it's, it's, um, it's less than, like, a, a tinted moisturizer. And because my face is swollen, um, it looks a little, like, much. But I have to say, if you look at it like this, I mean, it's a beautiful eye look. Both of them are um, very pigmented, really beautiful quality, gorgeous shades, um, and there's a lot you can do with it. This is a much more intense look because I put the black down, but the blue by itself is very bright, vibrant. So is the, the bronze shade and the white shade. Um, and this one is a little bit more um, everyday neutral, but that's because I put it down in quote a traditional way. I didn't put a base, uh, a deep base. I could have taken the deeper brown and put it all over the eye and that would have intensified the whole thing. So, cause I was trying to show you different ways to, to use them. But I would say, honestly, they're both beautiful. Very different color stories, but stunning. Um, okay, so let's do the uh, Black Jaguar first. They have the Orchid and the Passiflora. Um, Lip cheeks, like I said, very, um, you know, glossy lips. Um, there's coverage here and they last a reasonable amount of time, but they're not long lasting lipsticks. So that's the um, Passiflora, it's very cool pink. Then the Orchid, which is the deepest shade, I think, pretty sure, yeah. These are both, um, Definitely cool toned, although you can see this is much more almost purple and next to it this looks more peach because of, you know, the the, the, the fuchsia nature of this shade, but um, they're both very cool toned shades. I say this one almost looks like like tea rose a little bit and this one's definitely got more of like that fuchsia bent. Um, and then the cougar shades, we have uh, yarrow and we have prairie smoke. Prairie Smoke, I think, is going to be my favorite, but we'll, we'll see. Here's Prairie Smoke. Yeah, definitely more neutral. I wouldn't say necessarily warm. I'd say this is more like a peach. If you look at it next to um, Flora, you can see these are similar tones. Passiflora has more rose. That has more peach to it. But it's not like it's really super warm leaning. Um, and then Yarrow. Yarrow is the warmest leaning of all of them. That's definitely peach. So if you look at it, this is the warmest yarrow. It has like a peach shade, a little bit of coral. Then you'd say the next shade up is, it's, is a toss between Passiflora and Prairie Smoke. Uh, Passiflora, definitely more rose. Then Prairie Smoke is like, has more peach to it, but it's more like a rosy brown, if you look at it next to the yarrow. And then Orchid is like a fuchsia kind of shade. So to go with both eye looks today, the Prairie Smoke is gonna be the best because it's the most neutral. Um, and since I have two very different looks on my face, that's what we're gonna go with. It's definitely, I'd say like a rosy brown shade. It's the most neutral of all four shades. It's a very good everyday color. And if I had more makeup on and everything looked a little bit more seamless, um, I think it would look even nicer. But at the moment, like I said, everything's kind of, my skin's a little off. Um, but I love the shade. I think it's really pretty. So overall thoughts. The collection is stunning. Um, the lip cheeks, if you have like all the other lip cheeks like I do, I'm gonna bet there's not that much difference. I will do a comparison um, 
with the new shades, with all my other shades, because um, I have a lot. Um, maybe I'll put that up over on Instagram or something so that you can see the difference. But the lip cheeks, like I said, I love the lip cheeks. I have a ton of them and uh, I wear them all the time. But because they're a sheer, silkier, shinier, more, you know, there's not a huge difference on the lips between all the different shades if you're somebody who has like, especially a pigmented lip. You know, they're not that drastically diff different, except for I would say the Orchid. I don't have anything in my collection from Lip Chics that's that shade. That, I don't think. I'll have to check. But I will do, um, I will do a whole bunch of um, swatches with all the, the Lip Chics so you guys can see how the new ones compare. I'm gonna be doing that for a couple of other brands as well. I asked on Instagram, I think, I have the results, but I think Chanel and Tom Ford, won. I don't remember exactly, but you'll get to see my entire lipstick collection uh, swatched. So uh, I'll compare the, the four new ones, but I'd say Orchid is the, the deepest and the most unusual, I think, of, of all the ones I've seen um, recently. The eye quads, I mean, I think they did a beautiful job. They're extremely pigmented, very smooth texture, went on beautifully. Um, the only thing I would say is if you like a, you know, a cool, this is the, the Jaguar is definitely a cool color story and it has the blue in it. And honestly, if you never wear blue, like if you would never even consider wearing blue, then I wouldn't pick it up because there, there are other, there are other palettes that don't have the blue in it. I love it. And I think it's stunning. And I really, the, the opacity of all the shades and the shininess of the blue is, is really impressive. Um, the Cougar is definitely more of a neutral, but it's still very pigmented. And the copper shade that I just lightly put on the outer edge, if you put that all over the eye, that would be stunning. And you could take that copper shade and put it over the black. Or you could take the brown that's in here, the matte brown that I put on first, it has that very cool tone. You could put that all over the eye and put the blue over it. <laughs> like you could mix these quads so easily. Um, I definitely think they both lean, the, the Jaguar is definitely cool. I think the Cougar is cool as well. Um, I I would say though, on most people it's probably gonna be pretty neutral because things go cooler on me. I think it's a pretty neutral quad. Um, the Giraffe was more warm leaning and it had that white in it. Um, and you can saw on the, the My Arms watch. But I think this this cougar is a is a stunning every day. Um, it's it's really a beautiful. It's a be it's a beautiful quad. Um, I I'm more attracted to the the jaguar just because I think it's I don't know. I just think it's more unique. It stands out a little bit more. But uh, for an everyday look, yeah, <laughs> the, the cougar is probably more um, you know something that you use all the time. And it's different enough from the giraffe because the giraffe definitely has more of those sparkly, the, the duo chrome with the white and the, um, and that it's like a, almost like a glittery taupey shade. It is, it's definitely a different, different quad. Um, so I'm glad I have these in my collection as well. And the, the packaging is, I think it's beautiful. And I, I love the, uh, I love the color stories that they've come up with. All right, I think that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you in another video really soon.